how to install a custom recovery called SHRP or Skyhawk recovery project on your Pixel 2 XL running Android 11. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna install a custom recovery called SHRP or Skyhawk recovery project on your Pixel 2 XL running Android 11. As you can see, I do have the Pixel 2 XL, which is of course running Android 11. And you do need an unlocked bootloader for you to be able to install a custom recovery on your Android device. Next thing you would need is access to a computer, which could be a Linux machine, a Mac OS machine, or even a Windows machine. Now, what are the files which we need? All the files which we need are linked in the description of this video and for starters you need two zip files and those files are shrp resource and shrp install both these files are of course for the pixel 2 excel then you need adb and fastboot along with the shrp image file first thing you need to do is you will go into settings security and i do recommend you remove your fingerprint and any screen lock which you have set up you can always add it back once you have installed a custom recovery next thing let us first check whether i have a custom recovery already installed or not so first thing we need to turn off our device now once the device has turned off we are going to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till we see the fast boot or bootloader mode now once you are in bootloader mode you can use the volume rockers to switch between the different options and to select an option you have to press the power button so let us move over to the recovery mode option let me press the power button and this should boot us into the stock recovery so there it is we are on the broken android guy and here to access the stock recovery you press and hold the power button and then you press the volume up and bam here it is you can see we have stock android recovery installed on my pixel 2 excel so next thing we need to do is we need to boot back into bootloader mode so again use the volume rockers to select the different options reboot to bootloader is highlighted press the power button to select and we should boot back to bootloader mode and there it is we have booted back into bootloader mode and at this point you can connect your pixel to excel to your computer using a usb cable use the physical usb port on your computer laptop or linux box now moving over to the computer the first zip file which is highlighted right now this is adb and fastboot and of course windows users would need to install drivers for adb and fastboot mac and linux users we need not care about it and the first thing we're going to do is unzip this file now once we have unzipped the file you will see we have a folder with the same name and if i go inside this i have another folder called platform tools and inside this i have all the other files which include adb and fastboot next thing we need to do is we are going to place the shrp image file which you downloaded which is this one so we'll copy this right click and say copy it and once we have copied it we are going to move this file to the platform tools folder so we're going to go to the platform tools folder and paste the item next thing mac and linux users need to open terminal and windows users can open command prompt or powershell whatever you are comfortable with for windows users you can press down the shift key and then right click within this folder it should open up another window wherein you can say open command prompt here now once we have opened command prompt or terminal whatever you wanted to first command we are going to do is ls space hyphen al and this is going to list all the files and as you can see we have adb here we have fastboot here and we also have the image file for shrp command prompt users can use a command dir space slash p and it should list all the contents of that directory or 
folder. Next thing we need to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot devices. Now Mac and Linux users need to enter dot slash before the command. PowerShell users need to enter the other slash and command prompt users just need to type in fast boot devices. Once you have entered the command press the enter key and as you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode. The next command which we need to enter is to boot into SHRP and the command for that is fast boot boot and the name of the image file. As always Mac and Linux users do need to enter the dot slash before the command and here is the command on your screen one more time fast boot boot and the name of the recovery image file. Do note the name of the file is case sensitive once we have entered the command press the enter key and at this point your pixel to excel should boot into shrp recovery. And there it is we have successfully booted into skyhawk recovery and at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer in case you forgot to remove your pin or password it will ask for it and that is what you need to enter over here your pin or password for android next thing we need to do is we will go into flash and this should open the sd card or internal storage now you need to navigate to the folder where you transferred the shrp zip files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder otherwise you would know where you transferred them and you do need to select the shrp install file and then just tap on the check mark this operation may install incompatible software select flash and wait for the boot patcher to finish and there it is you can see that both slots were patched successfully however my device was already rooted and it is telling me that i am now unrooted and it was also unable to mount system root and vendor there was an error one let us ignore it tap on the check mark button to bring us back to the home screen and next up let us try to restart our system so we will go into reboot and then select reboot and there it is we have successfully booted back into android and of course my device would be unrooted right now now the next thing we need to do is extract the contents of the other zip file so we're going to open a file manager application i am using fx file manager you are free to use any file manager application which you want to I'm going to select main storage go into download and here is the file which i'm talking about the resource zip file of shrp so we're going to press and hold and then three dot menu on the top right and then we are going to say open with archive extractor and then again three dot menu on the top right and say extract here this is going to extract all the files and as you can see we have a folder with the same name tap on it you have another folder inside it called shrp press and hold on this folder and then select cut then tap on the main storage button and we are back in the sd card or internal storage select clipboard and then say paste so now we should have a folder here called shrp and this has all the files which are needed next thing let us check if we can boot back into shrp or not so first off turn off your device and once the device is turned off we are going to press and hold power button and volume down at the same time till we see the fast boot or bootloader mode once we are in bootloader mode volume rockers to toggle between the different options recovery mode is highlighted press the power button to boot into recovery mode and there it is you can see it is asking us if you want to keep the system read only let us check never show this screen check mark and bam there it is skyhawk recovery has been installed successfully on our pixel 2 xl running android 11 and you are now good to flash any custom rom which you want to and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you